just come with me. Come with me. So, on Tuesday uh, this week, I came back from my trip in Dallas. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> I ran into a little bit of trouble at the LAX airport. You know, there's designated areas all over the airport because it's a rather large one for Uber drivers and Lyft to come and pick you up. And so I went to Terminal 4, something like that, and I waited for my Lyft. I came in like about 10.40 and there was a lot of people there. And so me being lazy the way I am, I wanted to sit down. And so on the sidewalk where everyone was standing, there's a little ledge where the railing was that jutted out where you could perfectly sit down. Now, my purse is a backpack, actually. My purse currently is a backpack. And when you're wearing a backpack, you can't really sit comfortably. Uh, so I did what I usually do, and I took it off, and I placed it right next to me. But then, when my Uber driver came, Lyft driver, it doesn't matter. When, when they came, I got up with my suitcase, and I also had another huge carry-on bag, so my suitcase and a big handbag. I got up with those, and I walked over to my lift, and I put my stuff in. And as soon as I uh, sat in the passenger seat, I remember looking over at the Uber driver, and I'm just like, did I put my purse back there? And he's just like, huh? Yeah, 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 you did. You put your purse back there. And I was like, huh, okay. And I felt weird. I felt weird in that moment. <sighs> but I didn't double check and you know my brain felt like it was just scattered and it was because I just was dreading going home to my cunty ass roommate I just didn't want to have to deal with her and the anxiety of dealing with someone who is just so quick to anger I was just rehearsing conversations in my head and that was stressing me the fuck out I just really didn't want to go home so we drove all the way home, which was 40 minutes away. And as soon as I got home, I remember getting my stuff out of the Uber driver's back seat or in the trunk and I started freaking out. My heart, you know that good old feeling, that rush of adrenaline, stomach dropping down. And I just, I knew, I knew instantly that I had left my purse at LAX. My entire everything was in that purse. My IDs, my credit cards, my 3DS, and, and I just, I hated myself because I knew it. I felt that weird, stupid feeling of like, I'm missing something and I should have just double checked. So I was so mad at myself. I was exceedingly angry and I just, I, it's not good for me. I overthink and I started hating myself a lot and it started going down a spiral. It wasn't that I was going to go into a panic, but it was my mind racing so much to the point where it was scary. It was pretty scary. So the Lyft driver was actually nice enough to, without any charge, drive me back to LAX. And I just closed my eyes and I, I prayed that maybe this time, maybe humanity can pull through and someone didn't do the bad thing and steal, but rather did the right thing and turned my purse in. So I just really wanted to believe in people. So we drive back. You know, I wanted hope for the best, but sometimes, you know, just just sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to. And of course, looking along the ledge, the my purse wasn't there. So I started, you know, I started freaking out because aside from all of the guilt tripping I was doing prior, now it was that with the addition of, okay, now you gotta think about how to replace everything and how long it takes, how much money, where I need to go. So by this point, I was just frantic. I ran all over the airport. Uh, I asked uh, security and they finally called the police. Uh, and then, you know, the police started questioning me. At this point, I lost all of my pride and a little bit of my sanity. So I was, I was crying pretty hard, I was pretty shaken. As I was telling my story to the policeman, there was a, a nice older woman and you know, she, she was very beautiful and she looks at me and she's like, I, I don't mean to interject, but here. And she hands me a, a wad of cash. And I very nicely, sorry, a wad sounds like it's crumpled. A very nice, uh, this pinch, a very nice pinch of cash. 
and I I was just kind of shaken because I I already have self-esteem issues and accepting kindness from others is, is exceedingly difficult as of late. So for someone to be that overwhelmingly nice, I start to overthink really hard and I just, I couldn't comprehend it and I couldn't, and I looked at her and I'm like, I, 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 I can't accept this. And she just, she pushes it back in my hand and she hugs me and she's like, I just hope it helps. And I, I know it may not seem like it now, but the world isn't full of bad people. There's still some good out there. And I just, you know, you come full circle after being like, I can't accept kindness to just be like, maybe it'd be rude of me to not accept it. So I was just like, okay, okay. And I took it and she smiled and the policeman was touched. And I, I just don't understand how some people can be so kind without a second thought. And then there can be people who, without a second thought, not feel a single thing for another human being. You know, uh, I, we looked all over LAX and I stayed out with the police until four in the morning and I was so exhausted from traveling and from crying the emotional roller coaster of, of anger and fear and hatred and adrenaline and just so much. I just wanted to go home and sleep, honestly. I just wanted to quit. You know, the policeman filed my entire report that I have right here. We got the entire police report right here. Who was it that helped me? Sergeant Reyes. He was very helpful, very kind, very understanding. He wasn't aggressive like how you would assume. You know, you just assume that the police are bad because of the way, you know, things have been going with the world. But it, they were so kind and empathetic and it just, it really made me feel like, yeah, the world is good. There are good people. It just so happens that lately I've run into a string of shitty people, but for the most part, people I feel want to be good. I, I really want to believe the vast majority of people have at least some, some semblance of understanding. You know, finally I went back home at about 4.30 in the morning and I got a call from the police just as I was getting put into bed. And they were like, uh, Sandra, we found your purse. And I wasn't even shocked. I was so tired that I was just like, oh my gosh, that's great, <laughs> great. And so I went and I picked it up. I signed the last piece of paperwork and nothing was stolen. The only th lead that the police had was that I lost it at Terminal 4, but it was turned in at Terminal 2. So someone did pick it up, walked around with it, and then turned it in. Maybe they didn't find anything of value in there. Maybe they had the intention of stealing. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. The point being is that humanity won this time. 100%. Whoever found my purse understood my life would have been exceedingly harder if they had not done the right thing. So, thank you, really. But you know, in the end, my purse was returned to me. And I remember I was so overwhelmed when I got my purse on the drive back home. I was talking to Eric and I told him that I felt bad because now I have this woman's money who gave it to me because presumably if I didn't get my purse back. It was to help me in a small way, but I did get it back. So I couldn't in good faith keep it, at least all of it. I felt like I wanted to give back somehow because if people have it in them to save me in my stupidity, because this was all my fault. It was a lapse in judgment. It was because I'm clumsy, whatever the case is, I'm the one that left my purse there. So I feel like I just want to pay the kindness forward. So I decided that I wanted to donate at least a little portion of the money to AGDQ for Doctors Without Borders because I really do believe that paying the kindness forward, quite literally in this sense, is the right thing to do. Well, anyway, remember to smile, guys, because really, kindness is everything. 